Kent E. Nielsen here, and I am delighted to have you with me. Christ came into the world to do the will of his Father, and he prepared a way for you to do likewise. Join me to put him first in your life, receive the fruits of godliness, and realize your divine mission to be like him. You were born and commanded to do greater works than he did. Now let's go to work. Hello and welcome to Jesus is the Mark Coaching with Kent Einer Nielsen. I'm your host and I'm going to be sharing with you my journey as I've turned my life over to Jesus Christ and allowed him to transform me from the inside out. It started 1993 when I was 18 and I turned my life over to the Lord. I had a leader in my life who said that the Lord could make more out of your life than you could. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to let him. And in my heart, I made a personal covenant with him. And I said, let him, I will, when that spirit invited me to turn my life over to him. And I did that 30 years ago. And here we are today. And my life has been transformed forevermore. And more recently, it's changed my physique. For 23 years, I have been on average 260 pounds. And that was thanks to the byproduct of modern medicine that helped me maintain my sanity as it with a bipolar disorder that has a side effect of gaining weight. So I tried getting off the medicine a couple of times and I fell on my face and, and relapsed and I trimmed down while I was off of it, but I ended up relapsing and getting back on it. So I thought I had to have this medicine in order to maintain my sanity. Well, in May of this year, that changed and I'm still on my medicine and I'm still trimming down. And I'm so grateful for that. In fact, my wife and I just ran a Spartan this last Saturday. Today's Thanksgiving morning, 2023. Grateful to have you here. Today's just an introduction of the the podcast and where it's moving forward with. Um, This podcast is dedicated to sharing my journey. And if you go to my podcast um, online and it can be found on your podcast devices, it's at podcast.jesusisthemark.com. And if you go to that website, you'll have access to your different devices that you can log into with your own podcast, such as Apple or Overcast, etc., or even Spotify. And in that podcast, you'll find my journey from 2020, before I was hospitalized in like August 2020, when I was tasered four times and uh, arrested and put into a psych ward, which led to a court order to the state um, hospital for the mentally ill. And within six weeks, I had recovered again. I was on my medicine again. And I came home the day after I came home, our sixth child was born. What a delight. I'm so grateful that I recovered so rapidly, was able to come home to be there to embrace our newest child. That was over three years ago. And then I started another podcast again after that. And then I stopped and then I started another one, which was March of this year, 2023. And it was called Jesus is the Mark. And I started that podcast and my focus was to make Jesus Christ the focal point. And as I did that, I made a recording of that and it became part of my thinking. Yes, when I was 18, I turned my life over to the Lord and I turned my soul into the Lord and my mind and my heart to the Lord. And I did what I, the best that I knew how. Then in May of this year, May 13th of this year, it was a Saturday morning, late morning, I woke up from a nap and a still small voice spoke to me and essentially said, do you really want to trim down? I was like, yes, I do. And the idea was presented to me, well, God is fit. And if you want to be like him, if you want to make Jesus Christ the focal point, Jesus Christ, my master, Jesus Christ was a master carpenter. And I cannot, in my mind, picture him being a 254 pound year old salesman like I was. I had to change my physique too. So back to the dialogue with the spirit here. It essentially said, if you really want to trim down, I will help you. And with that, I was taught further, just take accountability for what you let in your body and what you let out of your body and turn your physique over to the Lord as well. Not just your heart, not just your mind, not just your work, but your physique. And 
That transformed my life. Within five weeks, I was down over 20 pounds and I've trimmed down since then. And then in about August of this year, early August of this year, my wife and I, I accepted my wife's challenge to do a Spartan. And since then, we've worked out at the gym six days a week. Prior to that, though, I wasn't working out. I didn't work out to trim down. I trimmed down just by controlling what I ate, taking accountability of what I let into my body, which includes eating food that is alive, meaning fruits and vegetables, and not overcooked and not, not necessarily raw all the time, but just eating healthy food. I haven't drank soda since I was 18 when I had a football coach tell me to that it cuts your breath in running. So I just, I haven't had that battle. And if you are on soda and whatnot, get off of it. Start drinking water, it's good for you. And if you don't have a water filter, one I highly recommend is called a Berkey. Get a Berkey, it cleans your water, it makes it taste great. I mean, if you had food coloring in your water, it would take it out, it filters it out. It's, it's amazing. And tap water is just not the same anymore. So I made these changes and I moved for, uh, forward. I trimmed down. I finally, after trimming down, I had the energy and the stamina to actually work out. And when I began working out, I didn't just jump in and do a one hour burn, burn, burn. So I don't, I don't want to work out for the next week. I got into it gradually. And my wife and I hired a personal trainer to give us a regimen, meet with us once a week and train us individually, and then gave us a regimen to work out at the gym. And we started doing that and we had amazing results. My weight has went down from the, the 254 in May down to around 220-ish. And it's teetered between 215 and 220 as I've been working out regularly. Um, and it's, it's, it's amazing. My body is reconfiguring now, um, building more muscle and losing the excess fat, for lack of a better word. And as a result of this, we prepared and ran a Spartan this last Saturday. It was amazing. My wife and I just had a delightful time and we got a picture at the end by the fi finish mark with our medals in hand. And I captured the, my favorite picture of my wife. She's just gleaming from ear to ear. We've got our headbands on with our numbers. And that is probably the biggest smile I've ever seen on her. I'm so grateful that I gave in, or that rather I accepted her invitation to run one of those. It was, it was transformative. And to be in a position to, to work out every day and prepare for it was amazing. And when we left the Spartan, we walked off the field. We weren't dragging ourselves. We weren't beaten up. And we got back to the gym and we're still going strong. So this podcast is about sharing my journey with you to help and invite and encourage you to turn your life over to the Lord. Allow him to transform your physique. My target audience are entrepreneur dads. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a dad and I want to help other entrepreneurs and dads to change their life by allowing divine power into their life. And the way to do that is to live correct principles for the right reason. And if your eye is single to God, and if it's not, I invite you to do that. If your eye is single to God, then you start learning his principles and his laws and you live them and you'll have access to his power. Now there's a difference between having access to his power and the form of his power. So there's a complete difference. One is like unto a moon. The moon is a reflection of the sun and that, that would be the laws of honorable, good and honorable men of the earth. These good and honorable men of the earth live correct success principles and they enjoy success and they have their names plastered on libraries, etc. And they're good and honorable men who lived correct laws, correct principles, success laws, success principles. That is a wonderful thing. But I'm talking about raising the bar to living divine laws, the laws that enable you to access God's power, not just the reflection of it, but to radiate it in everything that you do. Taking your life that's single to his glory, taking your business, your family, your physique, and turning it to the Lord and allowing him to multiply your talents, allowing him to transform your life faster and more powerfully than you can imagine. And you do it without force, without compulsion, without this fleshy arm that gets tired, that gets worn out, 
I've had people comment in my feeds saying, just buck up and go to the gym. Well, that's wonderful and everything, but not all of us have the energy to just buck up and go to the gym when you're carrying in excess 40, 50 pounds. So what I suggest is you turn your life to the Lord and make it about becoming like him rather than about looking in the mirror and say, ooh, look how sexy I am today. No, turn your life to him. Allow him to transform your physique. You were created in his image. And if your image doesn't portray someone who's fit, and I'm not talking about a bodybuilder here, someone who's fit, then change. Our bodies are resilient and they have the ability to transform and to change. If you will take accountability, don't let the junk in and move forward with faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He will enable you to turn your weakness to a strength. So in conclusion, I just want to summarize. So I have a podcast at podcast.jesusisthemark.com. You're welcome to go to that. That's going to have my older material. And I love how I've had leaders such as Russell Brunson, and one of his close friends is called Garrett White. And he says, you got to be willing to suck, as he calls it, before you can become good. And you got to be good before you become great. Well, you're going to see in my previous material that I had some work to do. And I still do. And I'm still making improvements. And I'm still growing. And I continue to do so and continue to make that record here on Jesus is the Mark Coaching with Ken Tyner Nielsen. And this podcast the podcast will also include my other YouTube podcast. It's called Just Jesus is the Mark, which is a collection of inspirational quotes and scriptural references and best book references that I will make commentary on and apply to you transforming your life by turning your life over to the Lord and allowing him to change your physique, your family and your business. And as I was talking to a fellow entrepreneur just yesterday, to be open about your faith. You don't have to be in your face using the name of the Savior over and over in people's face. No, no. You live a correct life. You live with love. You live and you share truth with your words. You are a man of your word. You are speak truth. You live truth. You emanate truth. You emulate truth. Jesus Christ in everything that you do and say. No, you may not be perfect at it at first, but you can become at perfect at it, line upon line, perfection upon perfection. You get to the point where you can be perfect at not drinking soda, for example. You may not have been perfect at it yesterday, but you can get to that point. And then when you master that, then you can take it to the next level and master not eating fast food, for example, and be perfect at that. This is what we're talking about here. I'm not talking about hitting a no hitter and being perfect in perfectionism sense, but no, turning your life over to the Lord, taking his yoke upon you and allowing him to enable you to turn your weakness to a strength and to grow. When you master one thing, you're going to be given a new thing to master and a new thing to master. And I hope, and I work and I pray that this message will be of inspiration to you and show you that you can be true to the Lord, true to your family, and true to business all at the same time. And you can learn and share truths from one another regardless of what faith you belong to. There is one God and we are children of that most high God. Let's learn to love one another as such and to treat one another as we would like to be treated so that we can find common ground with one another and lift and inspire one another, regardless of race, creed, religion, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Live the teachings of truth, the divine law, truth that has been taught by Jesus Christ and other great masters. But let's not disregard Jesus Christ, not only as an excellent teacher of truth and an excellent example, but he is the savior of the world. And he will give you not only an example, as I mentioned, not only good teachings, excellent teachings, divine teachings, but when you live his teachings, you will know that they are true or not. When you plant the seed 
and you allow it to watch for it to grow and you nurture it and it grows, you know that it's good. And then you know that what he says is true, not just thought about it, not just heard it, but actually live it. And that's what making Jesus a mark is to live his teachings, watch, feel, see the fruits of it in your life. For me, it transformed my physique in the past few months. It transformed my life and prepared me to be married to a most amazing woman that I can imagine and to have raised six wonderful children and to start a business helping other people to realize the joy and the fruits of living him wherever you may be. If you're a salesman, if you're an entrepreneur, if you are entrepreneur selling flooring, selling paint, selling coaching, whatever it may be, you can apply those teachings to your talents and multiply and exchange them. So that's all I got for today. Check out, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to continue to post content, continue to give, continue to add to you, to change and inspire you and to grow myself in the process. It is so wonderful to review what I have done before for personal growth, not to mention helping lifting others along the way. And I hope likewise that you will do the same. You will give freely of your talents and allow it to lift and multiply other people's lives. And in return to live the abundant life that is promised as a dis true disciple of Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me for a brief mental workout. Wise men do their mightiest works with their mental exertions. I encourage you to take time to ponder on the weightier matters of life and to govern your body with pure mental exertions, rather than having your body tell you what to do. You are welcome to connect with me further at my link in bio, where you can access my book, my social handles, my latest creative updates, and even request coaching services via email. I have been given much and am here to serve. Thank you and God bless you to be fruitful in doing your mightiest works. Good day.